Lorenzo, would you recommend this school? No. no? Why not, dude? What did you say, yes? Yeah, he said yes. Yeah, okay, yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, I spy with my little light. I spy, I spy with my little light. After being almost 10 months in China, I finally got some time to show you guys how my normal school day looks like as an exchange student in a Chinese school. Alright, if you remember my video from my exchange school in Japan, you remember that I had to wear a uniform to school every day. Well, the same goes for China. But, um, I feel like the Japanese uniforms look at least a bit more classy, uh, a bit more nice. Uh, the Chinese uniforms usually uh, have a pale color. You know, these are the pants that we have to wear. Uh, yeah, there's like literally nothing, nothing interesting to show. <laughs> uh, this is the symbol of our school. It's called Beijing Shi Da Fu Zhong. And uh, yeah, but we've got two types of uniforms. This one that we wear in spring or in summer, or this one that we wear in autumn or winter. Um, so yeah, again, these are the pants. But now it's not autumn or winter, it's the hot summer. So of course I'm gonna wear this one. And before I show you guys how do I get to my school every day, I realized that I never actually showed you how do I access the internet outside of China from here. Because China is one of those countries that blocks a lot of sites and apps from the western world. For example, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Google, Snapchat, everything that you use, like you cannot use that in China. So that's why I use this. So here I've got my phone, no password, obviously. And as you can see, uh, my Wi-Fi is on, right? So let let me do let me go to uh, YouTube for example. Let me go to YouTube. Um, the Wi-Fi is on, so it should work fine, right? It should work just fine. And yeah, this is exactly what happens every time when you don't have a VPN on. It just keeps loading, and it's on Instagram, it's on Twitter, it's everywhere. So then what I have to do is go to one of these apps and uh, turn on my VPN, which also takes so much time. Uh, this is called Turbo VPN. It's a free VPN for everyone. Uh, okay. It connected, now it's gonna give me an ad. All right, and now, finally, when I open up YouTube, finally I can see my subscriptions, finally I can see the homepage, all right? And the same exact thing, of course, with my computer. Right now I'm on Google Chrome. I've opened my channel page, you know. Everything works uh, because I have my VPN on. This is the VPN that I use on my computer, but you have to pay for it, this is not free. Uh, now, let me, let me turn this off. All right, it's off, you see, not connected. Now let, let me refresh that channel page. Yeah, this site cannot be reached. So yeah, this is what I have to do every day. On both my computer and my phone. Uh, I just want to say this video is not sponsored by any VPN. Uh, it's just what I literally have to do to access YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and all the social medias in China. <laughs> So every day on this bus station I wait for the bus number 107 or 128, uh, 81, uh, 966, just, just any bus that will take me to the nearest subway station right there. Here comes the bus number 81. The thing in China is that you never know when the buses will come because it's not written anywhere. So you just have to kind of wait. Okay, so um, I arrived to school and I guess first I'm gonna show you guys around a bit. So this is the school campus. There are people studying in that building. Uh, so I'm gonna go this way. I think the school looks very nice. Um, I think compared to other Chinese schools, there are definitely schools that look way worse than this one. So yeah, I think it's pretty nice. Also, there's like a bamboo forest, like a small forest, which is cool. Um, swag. Oh, actually, I forgot to tell you guys that every day after the second period, if it's not too hot or if the smog situation isn't too bad, we go to the playground. Everybody in this school, every student goes to the playground and we do something called shang cao, which means do exercises while listening to music or uh, do some tai chi exercises. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show that to you right now.
If it looks really empty here, that's just because I'm filming this while the students are studying because otherwise the, it would be too loud here. Uh, but I wanted to address something. A lot of people were asking if I do have to do their homework, if I do have to pay attention in every single class in like not only Chinese or English but like physics, biology, geography, uh, history. The short answer is no because I'm just an exchange student so it doesn't really matter what my grades are here or how well do I do on tests. Uh, but yeah, I can try to comprehend uh, what the teachers are saying. I can try to like keep pace with the class, but I obviously wouldn't be able to because I'm not fluent in Chinese. I'm just learning Chinese. Uh, so me being here has basically two, two main reasons. Uh, for me to learn Chinese and uh, for them to learn better English. I'm gonna go to class now and uh, see you then. So this is the class where I spent most of my time when uh, when I came to this school. This is the international department when I when I spent the first semester. And uh, you guys asked me over on Instagram questions about my Chinese school, and uh, now I'm gonna answer them. Swag. Okay, so first question is, can you keep your hair as long as you want? Yes, I can because I'm just an exchange student, but all the Chinese boys have to have hair uh, in the same way as it was in Japan if you guys remember they have to show their ears basically so that's the rule but it doesn't matter for me because I'm here just for 10 months can you go to the rooftop well I can go to the roof in the sense of I'm able to come here because uh, the door is never locked but am I allowed to be here I have no idea but uh, enjoy the view <laughs> What time does the school start and what time does it end? The school starts at 7.30. It ends usually around 4 p.m. or 5 p.m. depending on if the, if the students have some extra classes or if it's Friday. On Friday we usually have less classes. We, like, we end at like 3 p.m. It can vary but the average is 4 p.m. Every class lasts for 40 minutes. Rafi, can you rate the toilets 1 to 10? Well, the toilets, you know, it's like it's a hole in the ground. Can't really show much because I don't want to disgust you, but yeah, it's a hole in the ground. <laughs> Are Chinese students friendly? Yes, they're super friendly, at least in my class, everyone uh, is very friendly. <laughs> I don't know what I was supposed to say. Are Chinese students friendly? Yes, they're very friendly, everybody talks with each other. Uh, I didn't see any cases of bullying. <laughs> Basically, the Chinese students are very friendly and here are some um, interviews that I did with my Chinese classmates, with my Chinese friends about uh, various topics. Uh, Woman Hello,
And yeah, that's about it guys. I hope I helped you understand the Chinese school life at least a bit more. And if you still have any questions, please ask me in the comments below. Leave a like. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.